Hi, I'm Jeff Coffey, co-author of FileMaker Pro 9, The Missing Manual, and in this screencast we're going to talk about script debugging. In particular, we're going to look at the script debugger window, the data viewer window, and how to use these two windows to help you find bugs in your own scripts. I have a script in this database that has a bug in it. I'll show you right now. I'm sitting on this job record, and I run this script called Create Invoice for Job and FileMaker tells me this job has no unbilled activity. You'll have to take my word for it, but I looked at all the details under the hood and I do in fact have unbilled activity on this job, so for some reason my script isn't working. Now if you're FileMaker scripter who's never used the script debugger, you might look at a problem like this and think, ugh, I have to go figure out what's going on. I'm going to have to do a lot of hunting and digging. But with the script debugger, it's really, really easy to find problems like this. And that's because instead of your script running from start to finish really quickly with no visibility, the script debugger lets you see exactly what's happening while your script runs. I'll show you. I'm going to go to the Tools menu and choose Script Debugger. And here it is down here. Real quick, I'll zoom in on that so you can see what it looks like. It's not too exciting. It's a simple floating window. has some buttons across the top that don't have labels, and we'll look at those in a minute. Big white area here, labeled script, none. So I see I'm not running any script now, but if I were, it would show me the name of my script, and it would in fact show all the steps in my script right here. And this active scripts area here shows me all my scripts that are running, because of course one script could be in the middle of running and call another script, which could then run and perhaps call another. So they'll all be listed down here. There's some other controls in this script debugger as well. Now the script debugger works hand in hand with something else called the data viewer. If I go to my tools menu and choose data viewer, it pops up here. The data viewer is perhaps even cooler than the script debugger. It shows me data from my script. So it has two tabs really. We're going to focus on the current tab right now. The current tab shows the name value and type of every field and every variable that your script deals with. So we'll see once we start debugging scripts that we can see which fields it's using and what the value is in that field and even better as my script runs as I go through it bit by bit slowly at human speed so that I can watch it happen the data viewer will show me when those variables change or when those field values change. So let's let's dive into it and see what happens. I'll zoom back out and I'll just go to the scripts menu and run my script. Now, because I have the script debugger open down here, my script didn't run like it normally does. In fact, nothing has happened at all yet as far as my script is concerned. Instead, the script just opens up inside the script debugger. If we look down here, we can see these buttons have come to life. Now it tells me the name of the script that's running, and I see all the steps that are in that script down here. I see the name of the script down here, what file it comes from. So I'm seeing information about my script. Now I know my script hasn't run yet because my step indicator, which is right here, this blue arrow, is pointing right to the top of the script. What that means is that's the next script step that FileMaker is going to run. So if I start running this script, that's where it goes next. It runs that step, and then the next, and then the next, like you would expect from a normal script. But because I'm in the debugger, if I run that step, just that step will run. And then I'll be sitting right here, and you'll see my little blue arrow will march forward down this gray bar as I go, as I run step by step by step. At any point, I can then look at the data viewer, look at my database itself, look at the script in the debugger, and make some decisions about what's happening. Now, it turns out there are actually several different ways to step through a script. These three buttons here control your script stepping. The first one says, OK, I'm looking at this script right now, and I want to step down to the next line. So if I were to click this, I won't do that now, but if I were to, this blue arrow would move down to here, to this next line, right here. And it would have run this step. Now this is a perform script, script step, so what it would have really done is run an entire script. That script would run from start to finish, just like normal, com quickly, without any control. And then I would be sitting right here, my blue arrow pointing at the second step, and FileMaker would say, what do you want to do next? In this case, I want to actually see the details of what's happening inside that subscript. So I'll use the second button, which is labeled Step Into. It's not actually labeled, but it has this pop-up yellow tooltip that will tell me what it is. The Step Into button says, don't step to the next line in this script, but instead go into the subscript and look at its first line, and let me step through it line by line so that I can look at the full details of that subscript. Now if you're not on a perform script script step, then step and step into do exactly the same thing. They run the current step and move to the next line. I'm going to go ahead and push the step into button now, and we'll see what happens. I push it, and instantly it tells me my script is now find unbuild activity, 
so I'm in a different script than I was before. All my steps have changed because I'm looking at the steps in that subscript. And down here under Active Scripts, I can see Create Invoice for Job. That's the script I was in before. It's at the bottom of the list because it's the first script that was running. And it, in turn, called Find Unbuild Activity. It's in bold because it's the script that is, in fact, running right now. I can also see what parameter was passed to this script. It was passed a parameter of 2. So if you're looking at script parameters, you have full information about those down here as well. And again, my blue arrow is up here at the top of the script. FileMaker doesn't run comments, so they ignored. So I'm sitting at the top of the script, ready to run that first step. Now I can use my step button to perform that script. I'm going to zoom back out first, though, so we can see what happens. I'm sitting here on my jobs layout. And this next script step is go to layout expenses. If I click the step button, you see that FileMaker went to the expenses layout. So not only did I get to run just that one step, but I can see it happening behind the scenes in my database. It then says enter fine mode. Boom, I'm in fine mode. It says set field. Boom, I set a field. It says set error capture on. There's nothing to see with that step, but it happened. And perform the find and turn error capture off. And we see that all those things occurred. Now this job doesn't actually have any expenses, so it found zero records here, which is expected. This next script step is a set variable script step, so since we're talking about data now, let's turn our attention to the data viewer. If we look at the data viewer right now, it has two entries, the job ID from the time slips table and the job ID from the expenses table. In either case, the value is blank, and it tells me those are number fields. Those are listed here because if we come down here to our script, we'll see that it uses that job ID field. It uses it from both tables if we look at the whole script. So this data viewer in its current tab right here shows me every field that I'm using right away so that if I want to look at what's in them I can. Now there's no variables listed here because I haven't actually created any variables in my script yet. That's what the next step is about to do. So I'll push the step button again. Now my set variable step is run and my data viewer has acquired one new entry in the list. If I zoom in I see that it's the unbuild items variable with a value of zero. So that looks good though, unbuild items is zero because I have no expenses. I'm going to go ahead and step again. Now I'm going to go to the time slips layout, go to find mode, set a field, turn error capture on, run the script. Notice my blue arrow is moving down the script as I go, turn error capture off, and now I see I have one record found. That's the one time slip record for this job. That's what I thought I had. For some reason, the script tells me it has no unbuild activity, but I see it just found some unbuild activity, so I still haven't found my bug. Things are still working okay. I'm going to run the next set variable script step, and if we want to look closely at that, it sets the unbuild items variable to a different calculation. Now, I can't see it very well in the debugger, but what I can do is I can click the Edit Script button. It's the second to last button on the top of the script debugger. If I click it, my script edit window pops right up, and from here I can double click and see full details. I'm setting a variable called unbuild items, and here's my calculation. Let's go ahead and zoom in on that. It says unbuild items plus the current found count. So I'll take the number of unbuild items I found before, and I'll add my time slip found count to it, and that'll be the total number of unbuild items for this job. It all of this looks good. It makes sense. Just wanted to be able to see that. And you can see in the debugger that you can dive in and get all the details you want. I'll go ahead and cancel this and this and close my script window. I'm still looking at my script debugger. Even though I went in all that detail, I haven't stopped debugging. So my FileMaker is still sitting here on this next set variable line, ready to roll. I'll go ahead and step over it and check my script, excuse me, check my data viewer to see what happened. And I instantly see that something went wrong. Let me zoom in here so you can see this. Now I have unbuild items from before with a 0, and I have unbuild items again with a 1. Of course, the data viewer knows when two variables are the same variable, so it would only show that one time. It didn't in this case. It showed it twice, and so I know I have a problem. And if I look really closely, I see that this unbuild items is spelled with two L's, which is correct. This unbuild items is spelled with one L, which is not correct. That's a really common mistake to make in FileMaker. You misspell a variable name, and unfortunately, when your script runs, it doesn't warn you or tell you you spelled it wrong. It just assumes you really wanted two different variables. So I see right away I have my problem. The data viewer and the script debugger made it completely obvious, and I don't have to spend hours trying to track that down.